I need you to turn me into a monster. I need you to turn me into a monster right now. This is my first time performing at the Roots Picnic in Philly. Turn me into a monster for this performance. I'm ready. So for everybody wondering who I am, I go by the name of Simba from the Bay Area, California. And right now we are currently in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the 2023 Roots Picnic. My background, um, I grew up in the Bay Area, um, idolizing a lot of Bay Area people, E-40, Too Short, Keek the Sneak, Mac Maul, Richie Rich, uh, Hieroglyphics, uh, different people of the culture, Mr. Fab. Um, but I moved around a lot as a kid. My mom was heavy into real estate, so as she moved around, I was able to learn different cultures and different music. So he went to Atlantic City a lot, which taught me a lot about the East Coast. We went to the South a lot, which taught me a lot about Texas and the Carolinas and Atlantas and different things like that. So I always just had a wide awareness of different type of music. For someone that's never heard Simba, right off the rip, you would understand it's hip hop. Uh, it's traditional hip hop, but it's in today's era. So I'm someone that bridges the gap for the culture. I'm a young OG, you know what I mean? I'm I'm young enough to where I know how to relate to the people I grew up with, but I grew up around older people and my uncles and aunts and different people in my life to where they gave me a broader perspective from what they grew up seeing. So I understand the two and I know how to communicate the two against each other. Not against each other, but for them to understand each other. So I'm kind of like an incubator for, for hip hop culture, man, between the young dudes and the older cats. That's my role in this game. I just think it's time to up the experience for concerts. You know, like people pay money, they pay their hard earned money. They go work these jobs and people take off certain days to be able to buy these tickets and come enjoy themselves and see a performance. So if I'm just getting up there performing my lyrics over the track that they can go listen to on Apple Music, it's like, I'm really doing them a disservice. So I always want to provide the live thing to where they can get the full experience and feel like, man, I appreciate that. And me coming here was worth me taking off that day. So it's, it's all about the people having an experience of, of why I do that. A lot of people may feel like Philly's a tough crowd. It's not that they're a tough crowd. They just don't accept no bullshit, you know? So that's why I brought the band out and made sure I perform new songs and do new things to show them like, nah, I'm really about this life. And, I feel that they uh, responded to it great. I felt Philly loved me. I got a lot of love for Philly. Wallow and Gilly was a big part of me getting known to mainstream America. Um, I used to live in Ben Salem. I used to record at Back Cave Radio. Meek Mill was the first person to really post me. Um, Reed Dollars was somebody I used to watch. Like, Philly is a part of my career, so it feels great to be here and feel the love from the people. A hundred million dollars is my new goal. I want to make a hundred million dollars. That's it. I'll tell you this, dedication, resources, paying attention to detail and being innovative and solving a problem that's missing in life today. You can figure those things out. You'll figure out a hundred million dollars. Stay tuned, man. We got a lot of great things coming the best energy drink in the world. Don't play with us. I used to be on the other side, but I had to come to the brother side, you understand me? So now we're gonna turn into monsters. We're gonna do what we do. We're gonna celebrate this 2023. The monster music, to Simba, to the whole family. Let's get it. Mike check, one, two, one, two.